Hey Canucks fans, Elias Pettersson finishes 14th in Lady Bing voting and the Canucks add yet another Swede to their ranks. I'm Canuck Clay and this is my Canucks take all in one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Tuesday, June the 7th. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video to learn, learn about how last night I got accused of a slew foot in my roller hockey game. But first things first, Canucks forward Elias Pettersson was named, uh, finished 14th overall in Lady Bing Memorial Trophy voting. The Lady Bing goes to the player that shows sportsmanship, gentlemanly conduct, and good playing ability. So th that just means they, they don't give it to just the guy who's the best sportsman because someone like me in my roller hockey league would win um, all the time, although you might think differently after you hear my story. So Pedersen combines the sportsmanship with the good uh, ability as a player, obviously. And finishing 14th is not bad overall, considering there's 700 players in the league. And the guy who finished 13th was Steven Stamkos. And the guy that finished uh, 15th with, was Cam Atkinson of Philly. And then 16th with Anze Kopitar of the Kings. And Stamkos. Kopitar and and Atkinson all really good players so it's nice to to have PD mention among that group and like I said finishing 14th overall he didn't get a first place vote he didn't get a second place vote but he got three third place votes 13 fourth place votes so that's pretty good and then seven fifth place votes so it wasn't as good as Boudreau who finished 12th overall in Jack Adams voting but he did better than Miller and Horvat who got uh, a couple votes each for the Selkie, the best defensive forward, and again, Elias Pettersson getting 14th overall in voting for the Lady Bing Memorial Trophy. The winner of that was Kyle Connor, formerly of the Jets, now of, no, still with the Jets. I was thinking of Andrew Cobb. Yeah, Kyle Connor of the Jets was the winner of, of the award. Now with Petey, yeah, he's a good sportsman generally. Um, he can get passionate, which is fine. You, you, it doesn't mean you can't be... Uh, passionate and be good sportsman and uh you know whether it's a, a reverse hit once in a while or whether it's a sign of frustration those those aren't the the, the biggest you know uh, misgivings in the entire world and um i think overall <laughs> I, I was thinking actually some of his most memorable um moments have been off the ice when it comes to an, an interview with local media in particular but in general yeah Pedersen is a good sportsman for sure, he's he has a respect for the game. I think he has a healthy respect for uh, the players around the league. Of course, his teammates, but opponents as well. And I think he also earns that respect from his his opponents um, as well, especially um, after winning the Calder Trophy a few seasons ago. So um, that's the sportsmanship makes sense, and then of course the the good playing ability because once again they they don't just give it to the most sportsman like player they also give it to someone uh, sportsman like player who can actually play the game quite well and yes of course all these guys can play the game well that's why they're in the nhl but you you have to be noticeable and Pedersen is indeed noticeable especially in the second half of the season his his season really taking off once bruce boudreau arrived so once again elias Pedersen, 14th overall in voting for the lady bing memorial trophy congrats to him and I've never seen him not be a good sport I've never seen him um, not exhibit gently uh, gentlemanly conduct he's not a dirty player he doesn't take a lot of penalties and he's also not a like a showboaty player either he gets excited when he scores as, as everyone should I know I do because I rarely score but uh, overall you know um, a really good representative of the team and it makes sense that he finished um, well in the voting so congrats to Pedersen on the 14th place finish Speaking of Swedish forwards, the Canucks signed another one, um, a young man named Niels Aman. That's how you say it, not Aman. Yeah, Niels Aman. Niels Aman from Sweden. He was drafted in 2020, so two years ago, by I think it was the Avalanche, uh, six over, uh, six, not six overall, six round pick. They did not sign him, so he became a free agent. So the Canucks scooped him up, and uh, Patrick Alvin said he's a good heart uh, two-way forward with a good work ethic basically it screaming third or fourth line or at least HL player to me and that's what all the HL players bring usually is a good work ethic playing um, you know both sides a good two-way game 
And that's generally how a lot of these AHL guys start off. And then when you excel in a certain part of the game, whether it's scoring, skating, defense, special teams, leadership, then that's when you get your shot at the big club if you're not a high draft pick. So um, I don't know a lot about them. I, I've seen some people say they don't really notice them. I've seen others say that, uh, you know, at least he works hard. That's how you notice them. So I'm not expecting anything massive from Niels Aman. Rather, um, likely depth for Abbotsford. And maybe he battles for, you know, uh, a bottom six spot coming out of the training camp. But we'll, we'll see what happens with him. But um, as we know with Rutherford, with Alvin, they are not just going to focus on the, the draft. They're going to look at... Uh, U.S. No, college players from the U.S. They're going to look at guys playing overseas. So I expect to see a few more signings like this as we go forward, uh, as as the Canucks continue to to beef up their their system, their player. De- Remember, they just hired a bunch of people into the player development department. So we'll see how Niels Aman does. But yes, uh, right now regard him basically as as depth for Abbotsford for sure one last story I'll tell you um, actually speak, keep me on the Swedish theme I just bought a bunch of Krona Swedish Krona because I leave uh, a week from Thursday so uh, nine days away from leaving to Sweden with my son Jacob so excited about that so I got some Swedish money in my wallet now and the last thing I'll say is uh, roller hockey last night we won 7-4 we are atop our division we're the third highest division in the league I am uh, pretty much a, a non-factor Although I, I work my butt off. Oh, I sound like Niels Amon. I work my butt off, got a good two-way game. No, I don't really have a good two-way game. Um, but I do work my butt off, got a good work ethic. But last night, it was pretty funny. Um, I There's a guy behind his own net. So he came out from behind his net. And I came around the boards and I was chasing him. Caught up to him, trying to fight the puck off. I knocked the puck from him. And was actually passing him. And then he, he dragged me down from behind. And then there's no penalty on him or for, on me. And then he's yelling... Why would you slew foot me? This is uh, this is an adult rec league. That's kind of the line I always use. So I, I leaned over to him. I said, brother, I actually said that, brother. I said, um, how can I slew foot you when I'm ahead of you? And he, then he didn't have an answer for me. So then he goes back to his bench. The guys on my bench are laughing because they know I'm not dirty at all. They know I'm not a rough player. And then, uh, you know, we won the game 7-4. We shook hands or fist bumped. And then I went to him. I said, 92, because that was his number. I said, Look, I apologize if you think I slew-footed you, but I don't play like that. In fact, in 10 years in this league, I have one minor penalty. And he really had no comment, because I think he had a few minutes to think about it, and then I, he looked at me, um, and he basically said, yeah, my apologies. Um, I was in the heat of the moment. I was being competitive, and we were losing. So, and it was fine. We shook hands. We said, okay, take care, and, and see you next time. So it was fine. I didn't think anything of it. The guys were kind of, my teammates were kind of laughing because they know I don't play like that. And then this guy had gotten into a small dust-up, not even a dust-up, but he, he took a coincidental minors with, with one of my teammates earlier in the game. So um, I wouldn't say he's a dirty player, but it didn't surprise me that when I got tangled up with him, it, honestly, it didn't surprise me that he complained a little bit as well. So uh, a little small story for you. Maybe me almost showing my feisty side, almost getting a penalty. But no, I still have my my uh, my my track record of, of one penalty, I think, in the past 10 seasons in roller hockey. After all, we call it the Holy Rollers. That's the name of our team. All right, Canucks fans, let me know. Let's get back on track. Talk about PD. Uh, maybe in the comments below, um, let me know if uh, 14th sounds about right or knowing what the the award is about sportsmanship and high quality of play do you think he actually um, should have finished higher or maybe not this season because of slow start but is this an award that you could see pd winning or at least becoming a finalist for in the near future let me know in the comments below i'd love to know what you think and if you have any expectations for our new player niels aman let me know if you um, in the comments below for that as well. Shout out to my sponsors, Perform and Transform, Personal Training Weight Loss, and Advanced City Experts Real Estate Group, Jason Lim and his team. Shout out to legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Justin Incredible, legendary Andrew Chang, Hall of Fame members, Jens95, Sim Alexander, Chris Seifert, Adam Brufield, Shanley Hollingworth, HSM Fangirl Gaming, Smooth Groove, and Carol Bovenlander. Thank you for your support as always, and thanks to the support of all members of all levels. You are listed in my video descriptions. If you want to become a member of the CCC crew, press the join button underneath this or my videos the membership tab on my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you'd like to. Like this video if you'd like to. Leave a tip, a super thanks if you'd like to. Become a member or upgrade if you'd like to. 
and leave a comment down below if you like to do PD, finishing 14th, signing Neil Zaman, or me uh, being accused of a slew foot. So if you made it this far, 10 minutes into the video, simply type in two words, Holy Rollers, because that's the name of my roller hockey team, H-O-L-Y, Holy Rollers, as it sounds, R-O-L-L-E-R-S. Uh, you type that, then I know you made it to the end of this video. I appreciate you. Okay, friends, as always, stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. Have a great night. I'm going to go bowl, and I'll let you know how I do tomorrow. God bless, and go Canesco.